accepting the the opportunity again that the governor gave me uh, five and a half years ago towards the tail end of the Office First Administration as the Deputy Director, uh, I knew from day one that I serve at his pleasure. No bitterness and no regrets from former DOC Director J.B. Palacios, who was fired yesterday by Governor Felix Camacho in the wake of a prison barbecue video that raised questions about procedures at the prison and concerns about the possibility that that event may have compromised an investigation into a prison murder. Palacios declined to address the specifics of that event, choosing instead to thank Governor Camacho for the privilege of serving. I would like to thank Governor Camacho for um, giving me the opportunity to have served the people of Guam and to the men and women of the Department of Corrections uh, to hold their head up high because I, I have never worked with a more dedicated, committed, loyal bunch of employees than the employees of the Department of Corrections. There have, of course, been a number of incidents and complaints during Palacios' term. Not only the prison barbecue video, but that murder this past May of inmate Arlen Ferenko, allegedly by fellow inmate Stephen Albertson. Illegal contraband like cell phones and computers seized from inmates. Questions raised about the work release program that allowed, at least in one case, a convicted murderer to work outside of the prison and a lawsuit recently filed by prison guards seeking overtime payments. Palacios never refused an interview and was always open and responsive when asked by the media to explain those events. But today he chose to emphasize the positive and the progress that has been made at DOC. I'm proud of the progress that the men and women of the Department of Corrections have made there. Among the milestones during his more than five years at DOC, Palacios mentions progress on resolving the Department of Justice's consent decree orders, mostly through federal funding rather than from GovGuam. Working closely and, 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 and having the staff really involved in everything that out of the uh, approximately $1.3, $1.4 million that has been spent to, to address that, it has only cost the taxpayers of Guam $39,000. And for the corrections officers, Palacios spoke of the increased clothing allowance, which has gone from $200 to $350 under his administration, as well as a major announcement that he had planned to make before he was dismissed. The funding has been secured to pay DOC's guards that overtime they're owed. It's the State Criminal Aliens Assistance Program, and we've doubled, we, we, we increased it by 200%. It's, it's historic because for the first time, you have a territory that's going to receive more SCAP money for the fiscal year than one of the 50 states, which is the state of Hawaii. So those it's, guys will get their overtime. That's what we intended. But then with the new management, I hope that they, 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 they continue some of those, those things. Because at the end of the day, like, like I've been told before by um, several of the staff and so forth, directors come and go and the employees still stay behind. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.